As I said earlier, we are here to remember and we are here to resist the temptation to forget. We are also here to resist the temptation to change memory, the temptation to make memory suit our present needs, even if it is against the truth. So at the Jaime Cardinal Sin Village, in front of the parish church, there is a statue of Cardinal Sin smiling but standing on the tip of a plank of wood. It is rough, it is dangerous, it is risky. And the sculptor deliberately put those images in one work. He was standing on a dangerous spot. He was standing on a risky space, and yet he was inviting others to go to the same dangerous spot. Please mark the words. He brought us to danger. He brought us to risky spots. He did not just tell us to go. He went ahead to the risky spots. He went ahead to the dangerous spots and told us that in going to where there was too much risk, in going to where there was too much danger, he pointed to us that beyond the danger, there is also the opportunity. That beyond the risk, there is also the invitation of a new beginning. Some people can see dangers all the time. Some people are overwhelmed by risks. And some people overwhelmed by risks get paralyzed. On the other hand, prophets do not get overwhelmed by risks. Prophets recognize the risks. Prophets recognize the dangers. And then they tell us, go to where it is dangerous. Go to where it is risky. Go to the edge of the cliff. Go to where you can risk your life and your limb. And as you stand there, do not look at the risk. Look at the opportunity. Some people see Calvary. Some people see empty tombs. Some people see nails and spears. Some people see linens abandoned, lying, neatly folded in the empty tomb. So we're here to remember a man who knew the risks, who knew the dangers, who went to those dangers, who went to those risks, and then invited us to go with him to where it was dangerous, to go with him to where it was risky, and then to teach us, come on, do not be afraid. Among all the saints often quoted by Cardinal Sin, it was Santa Teresa de Jesus that he loved the most. And what was it? Let nothing disturb you. Dios solo basta. Nada te turbe, Dios solo basta. Let nothing disturb you, let nothing frighten you, because God is enough. Now, looking back at the events in the past months, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear young people, who never had a chance to kiss the hand of Cardinal Sin, then we say, those days were dangerous days of Edsa. Those days were dangerous days of making a moral stand in the face of the election choices. Risky? Yes. Dangerous? Yes. But we would rather be risk we, we would rather take the risk and embrace the danger than be a bystander and be bench warmers. Because 
the role of the disciple, the role of the prophet, is to see where risk is, to see where danger is, but to see that beyond the danger and the risk, there is an opportunity, there is an empty tomb, there is a challenging mission, there is a plunging into the deep that is waiting for us. And when we go and take the risk, when we go and take a dangerous path, we can get bruised, we can get beaten, we can get wounded, we can even get killed, we can become the targets of trolls, of assassins, we can become an easy prey for the enemies of truth, for the enemies of God. But, in the words of another saint, God did not call me to be successful, God called me to be faithful. And paraphrasing St. Teresa of Calcutta, we say, God did not call us to win. God called us to stand up for Him. <laughs>